this is a production from A1102108 Phi. Now I'm just going over a quick video right here about uh, two programs. Uh, there's iTunes and Songbird. Now, everyone knows about iTunes, but Songbird actually can be used as an alternative to iTunes for syncing your iPod. It was actually made from the same people who made Firefox. So in case you're wondering, that's it's actually pretty good. So here's Songbird right here. On the side, you have the, this bar right here that has library, downloads, uh, concerts. Uh, you can have Shoutcast Radio on down here. Let's see, loads up to this, and you can play your Shoutcast Radio. And then you have your playlists down here and your bookmarks. Now, in the library, it has uh, the genre of your music over here, the artist over here, and then the album. And then down below in here, it shows all the artists. And just like in iTunes here, it's got the bar at the side. It just shows you music and movies and all that stuff. And the store, but no, there is no radio and uh, no downloads and stuff. So with that said, this means you can actually use the internet on Songbird. What you do to do that is go up to File and then click New Tab. And then it'll come up to this. So just click like Google or something. Uh, I forgot to put the E in there. Oh well. Takes a while to load, but it's the internet. Uh, just gonna. Oh darn! Just as soon as you get impatient with it, it does it what you want. Well, we're just gonna load with that. So, uh, let's look in the file commands up here while that's loading. You can create playlists. You can uh. Uh, do all that and then the controls you can play from up here and then here the feathers actually mean the theme so if I like to put gonzo on it it will uh, turn to this but uh, Jesus Christ. yeah so anyway uh, I found the Google right here in songbird so you have your library over here, and then your internet over here, and you can go to places like uh, YouTube and all that stuff. So, but you can't do that with iTunes. So let's try and do that with iTunes. Uh, no new tabs and stuff. So, already you can use the internet in Songbird. So, it's pretty good. Now, in order to download that, open your internet. Okay. Yeah, and then you want to go here to Google and Google, type in s Songbird. It's an open source music player. Is another thing. It's pretty good. Now, it was made from the same people as Firefox. So, click here to download it, and then it'll come up like this, and you can customize it however you want. And I suggest getting it. This has been a, t a short video from A1102-1085. Yeah.